Anatomy is the subject that can make you cry. I mean literally if you don't study it in a proper way. When you start studying, it feels so overwhelming to understand the subject. Somehow you manage to study, but when you have to reproduce it, you don't remember anything. If you're facing this situation, this video is for you. I'm gonna talk about everything that you need to ace anatomy. Resources, study techniques, how to make notes and how to present your answers in the exam. I got you covered. Hello everyone, I'm Manoj, currently a final year medical student from Bangalore. In this video, I'm gonna cover everything under these headings. We all know anatomy is divided into gross anatomy, neuron anatomy, histology, embryology and osteology. I'll be focusing mainly on gross anatomy, neuro anatomy and osteology. We have a special guest to talk about histology and embryology. Also, I have a gift at the end. So please watch the entire video. I have made a video on resources. If you haven't watched that, the video is right here. For now, I'll just brief it. Coming to the books, I referred BDC along with Netus at last. Even Vishram Singh is fine. For embryology and histology, it is IB Singh. Talking about online resources for gross anatomy, Ken Hub. For dissection, Viva Wars of Anatomy. For embryology, Life in the Womb by Dr. Rose. For osteology, Dr. Viran Keria. All these are YouTube channels. Kindly check them out. Last but not the least, we have Biodigital Human. Remember this, we'll talk about it later. Anatomy is more about orientation than understanding the concepts. So don't try to remember everything that's given in the textbook. All the theory part is to make you understand or to get better orientation. So you don't have to remember everything. You have to remember only few specific points. Keep your BDC or Vishram Singh along with the Netters Atlas side by side. Read your textbook and try to understand it with the help of pictures given in Atlas. For example, if I'm reading about axillary artery, I'll try to visualize its origin, termination and at what level the branches are arising from. Now to make my understanding better, I'll try to visualize it on human body. How will I do that? Through dissection. Don't waste your time in the dissection hall. Try to involve actively in the dissection because this is where most of the learning happens. Many of them will not be interested in dissection and they don't involve much. But you can utilize this opportunity to make your concepts solid. You can learn 60 to 70% of anatomy in dissection hall itself. So don't miss your dissection classes. Next, use Biodigital Human. This is a website where you get 3D models of human anatomy, which makes your anatomy learning effortless. The best thing is its interface. You can learn by systems or by regions, which is very convenient and efficient. For visualization, this is one of the best resources that are available. You get 10 free models per month. If you exceed this, just use a different email. Once you get proper orientation, then it's all about memorizing it. Finally, for neuroanatomy, use Dr. Najib lectures. This is more than sufficient, but your textbooks are ultimate. Before jumping to next segment, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do it now. We have some amazing content coming up. There are many benefits of making notes. Mainly, your level of understanding will be high. Because when you make notes, you understand it well, and then you process it, and finally, you write it down. Secondly, you'll have very condensed information. The purpose of making notes is to have a very concise information so that you can revise it before your exams. Try to make notes for all the topics, but if you have limited time, at least do it for previous year questions. Remember, while making notes, don't try to copy everything from the textbook. Try to write down the points which are very important. This is my way of making notes. First start with the definition, then comes the main part, draw the diagrams. Most of the times you can remember the theory part just by knowing proper diagrams. If you feel textbook diagrams are difficult, then create your own versions, but it should be similar. Then write down the basic information related to it. There are different headings under which you have to remember the topics like internal features, external features, relations, blood supply, nerve supply and applied anatomy. Check the previous year questions, you'll get to know about this. In this case, it is structures crossed by root of mesentery and contents of root of mesentery. Now we have my friend to talk about histology and embryology. He got distinction in first year and I think he's the right person to share his experience. Hello Ganesh. Thank you Ganesh for having me here. It's a pleasure to be a part of your video. Okay, let's start the topic. How should they study histology and embryology? I begin by saying there's no one key fits all approach. And for embryology, I'd suggest two to three sources. Firstly, it would be the Indabir Singh's textbook of uh, embryology. And I pair it along with a video resource, uh, which are freely available on YouTube. And I think in combination, it's better because at, at times, embryology, the concepts of embryology become a little uh, complex. There are uh, complex intricacies of embryology that we have to understand. And I think it's better if we combine two resources and share it with a, a friend, whatever we've learned. I think that will be better. And coming to histology, I recommend the Atlas of Histology, that is Krishna Garg's Atlas of Histology, or whichever atlas uh, you seem best. 
and uh, the reason i recommend krishna garg is because the diagrams which are given in the textbook are very easily reproducible in the exams as well and also i also recommend you to make a pdf of all the slides that are used in your college for the final exams and uh, revisit it just a few minutes before the exam so that uh, you know the same slides which you see in the under the microscope uh, you would have already reviewed them in your phone how do you identify those histology slides so coming to histology and identification of the histology slides i think it's best that we review each area of the slide under the microscope during the practical classes instead of fixating on one particular peculiarity and also to review the pdf of the slides that we made beforehand so that the visual memory is ready to identify the slides or visual memory is trained to identify the slides under the microscope in a real life uh, examination you can also simulate an exam setting by setting yourself a timer and identifying x number of slides in this particular amount of time that way you will be trained for that particular examination uh, rush also you don't get much time for histology and embryology in that case what's your approach towards the revision and retaining it yeah with all the other details of anatomy uh, it becomes difficult to revise histology and embryology so for that for especially in terms of theory i recommend you to make notes beforehand so that you can just go through or skim through those just a day before the exam and be done with those two subjects and in terms of practicals as i recommended earlier if you have the pdf if you made the pdf or you've borrowed it from a senior you you just go through it a few hours before the exam you are sorted for those two subjects as well do you have any tips for first years yeah as i said earlier the study approach is different for everybody and what i found best for me is if i would watch a video or two of the section before actually performing the dissection in the on the cadaver that i would retain most of the information and the visual memory would be fresh in my mind and also if i would share it with somebody uh, if i would teach somebody the same things which what, whatever i've learned on the cadaver i would retain it better again my senior once said learn one do one and teach one and i think that's the one of the best ways to retain information and i'm just passing it on so i hope this was helpful and thank you for your time thank you manoj for the opportunity thank you ganesh thank you for your precious time and i appreciate your efforts Thank you speaking if you revise before your internals properly you can easily cope up at the end of the year with that being said there are few things that you can do first revise the notes that you have made once in a while secondly utilize your time in the dissection hall discuss with your friends and teach them if you have learned some new topic always remember the number of marks you get in the exam not only depend on the amount of knowledge you have but also on your presentation it's very important to focus on how well you present your answers so that it can fetch you maximum marks This is a framework that you can follow while writing your answers. First, never write in paragraphs, always present your answers as pointers. Second, draw the diagrams. It doesn't need to be artistic. If it is understandable, then it is more than enough. For long and short essays, draw the diagrams. For short answers, if it is asked in the question, draw it. Otherwise, it's not necessary. Next, highlight the keywords and if it is very important point, put a cloud or box to it finally write the applied anatomy which impresses the evaluator i'd like to give you a pro tip if you don't know anything about the question just draw the related diagram this will fetch you some good marks see time management is a crucial part of examination so divide your time according to the questions and follow it properly since you have come this far i'm giving my handwritten notes for free link is in the description download and make use of it remember it doesn't matter if you are starting now or if you don't know much about the subject If you follow this anatomy will be no longer a difficult subject for you. If you find value in this video please like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share your experience of anatomy in the comments.